Good morning, I'm Aldo Infantino, Head of Pelvic Floor Unit for the Italian Society of Coloproctology in San Vito al Tagliamento Hospital, Italy. This presentation is a part of the monthly topic ESCP on rectal prolapse. There is no conflict of interest. Many attempts have been proposed for the cure of rectal prolapse. Ripstein fixed the rectum to the sacrum after complete mobilization and using a Teflon mesh. Unfortunately, the results for constipation were worse than after resection rectopexy. New onset constipation was remarkable and in internal intussusception, the constipation often worsened. Waltz introduced the modification. The net fixed the rectum in the posterior and the lateral walls only. The constipation improved in 36%, but 18% of the patients complained for a new constipation. In 1993, it was introduced the modification. In case of a hysterectomy, one wing of the net fixed the vaginal vault for the correction of the interseal. With uh, the aim to improve constipation, Frickman and Goldberg proposed a sigmoidectomy that mitigated the disease dysfunction. In fact, Obstructed defecation and fecal incontinence improved in 81% and 72% respectively. But the risk of anastomotic dehiscence for many surgeons was unacceptable. With the Orloic technique, the rectum is again full mobilized and initially it was used to strips of muscular fascia to anchor the lateral sides of the rectum to the sacral promontory. Modifications have been proposed as a reduced mobilization of the rectum and the use of synthetic meshes. The new onset constipation was so reduced in respect to other procedures. Up to that time, the results after Orloic technique were the best and after Ripstein procedure the worst. And the Orloic technique resulted better than the Wells tool. It is well demonstrated that in case of rectal prolapse and rectal intussusception, the uh, rate of urogenital prolapse is really high. With cystocolpotegraphic defecography, we can evidentiate the multi-compartmental defects and, following the unitary, unitary theory, the laxity of the central compartment, mainly of the vagina, invalidates muscle contraction. So the ideal approach should be abdominal to guarantee a, a reduction in recurrences or laparoscopic for the less morbidity and costs. It should be preserved to the lateral ligaments to avoid any denervation and uh, uh, the contemporary correction of associated middle compartment defect can be done. The ventral rectopexy proposed by Dor in 2004 is laparoscopic, corrects the prolapse, is nerve sparing, repairs the associated defects suspending the first and the second level described by De Lancey. Collison obtained good results not only in case of over rectal prolapse as described by Dor, but in rectal intersusception too. Postoperative fecal incontinence and constipation improved and relapses were negligible. The discussion is now focused on some details as the mesh to be used. Absorbable meshes cause 
higher recurrence. The rate of mesh erosion is higher after synthetic than biological mesh. And the polyester is correlated to higher number of erosion. In a systematic review, the results are confirmed the initial good result. Mortality is zero. The uh, immediate postoperative morbidity is acceptable. The length of stay is short, and the improvement in constipation and incontinence is confirmed very, very good. And the large experience on uh, laparoscopic ventral rectopexy after a follow-up of 10 years demonstrated only 8.2% of relapse for the overt rectal prolapse and confirmed the impressive positive results on obstructification and fecal incontinence. And a new systematic review confirmed a high global satisfaction for the constipation, 86%. Nevertheless, the author points out that the studies are only observational and this is a bias that can affect the results. We propose the modification of ventral rectal rectopexy uh, following our experience of a hollow technique. The mesh is anchored to the sacral hollow and not to the promontory, distally to the inferior hypogastric nerves. Uh, the results will be published soon. The older patients are usually approached using perineal techniques in order to reduce the risk of complications. In this study, it has been demonstrated that the age over 80 is no longer a contraindication to laparoscopic ventral rectopexy. The Cochrane analysis on uh, surgery for overt rectal prolapse revealed a low level of evidence for the absence of published prospective trials. Nevertheless, it is recommended a reduced mobilization of the rectum and the laparoscopic approach. No differences in quality of life has been demonstrated after different types of surgery. A survey published in 2012 demonstrated a more diffuse resective rectopexy in the United States than in Europe. So, we can conclude that laparoscopic ventral rectopexy is a safe procedure with low morbidity and good functional results. We need longer follow-up and comparative data to obtain a higher evidence. Thank you for your attention.